we have another Yes Style haul and I'm so excited to share these products with you. Okay, uh, we're gonna do sunscreens first. These are three that I found out of um, popularity, I guess. I've been seeing these names come up a lot. So the first one we're gonna do is the CosRx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. So the top two ingredients in here that are very soothing and hydrating are aloe and glycerin. So that makes the formula very nice to apply. The other thing is that it's an SPF of 50 plus, which is what I prefer my rating to be. It also has a PA rating of three pluses. Four pluses is the maximum rating. The only reason I wouldn't repurchase this is simply because there's a lot of K-Beauty sunscreen products out there that are just as good, but with that maximum PA rating. In terms of texture, it's a very fluffy, rich formula. It feels like a rich night cream. Uh, but it absorbs very quickly so you don't have to worry about like working it in excessively so this is actually really nice for winter as somebody with dry skin i'm gonna really appreciate having this so this is a chemical or organic sunscreen so no white cast which is great especially if you have deeper skin tone but it also increases chances of irritation whether that's um, skin irritation or eye irritation although i've never felt that the main sunscreening actives in here I don't know why I'm looking in the back because it's written in Korean, but um, Tinisorb S is one of the main ones. It covers UVA1 and UVA2. Most importantly, it's very photostable. You still have to reapply, but at least it doesn't break down as quickly as something as like avobenzone. Uh, the other sun active in here is PBSA. It's a really long name, so let's shorten it. This covers UVB, so it does have that broad spectrum, which all your sunscreens should have. PBSA is very photostable, which is also great, but it can be a source of, uh, of an allergic reaction. So keep that in mind if you're very sensitive to certain ingredients and do experience allerg allergic reactions. So as a side note, this is not fragrance-free, so if you do have sensitive reactive skin, keep that in mind when you're shopping. The sunscreen that I'm absolutely obsessed with, that I'm very happy I picked up, is the Perito Comfy Water Sunblock. This has an SPF of 50 plus, just like the CosRx, with a maximum PA rating of four pluses. Whereas the CosRx Aloe Cream is rich and fluffy, this is thin, lightweight, and truly feels like a refreshing cup of water on the skin. So you put it on, absorbs very quickly, but it does leave, um, a film of water that takes probably 20 to 30 seconds to absorb before it feels like it's your skin again. So it's a fragrance and essential oil-free formulation. It's a physical or inorganic sunscreen. So it relies on zinc oxide and titanium dioxide to protect you from UV rays. When you combine zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, you can expect a heavy white cast. Most uh, brands struggle to eliminate that, but this, zero white cast. Like, phenomenal formulation. If you have a deeper skin tone, you might see a hint of blue as you're working it in, but it disappears very quickly. The other nice thing about having a physical or inorganic sunscreen is that it's less likely to irritate your skin, especially if you have sensitive skin. Um, so zinc oxide covers UVA1, UVA2, and UVB. Titanium dioxide will cover UVA2 and UVB. Out of all three sunscreens, I would highly recommend trying the Perito Comfy Water. I think you're gonna love it. Dear Claire's is the third sunscreen that I picked up, although it's also my least favorite. Um, I essentially got it because it was, when I was shopping in August, it was gaining a lot of popularity. I was seeing it everywhere, so I was like, I need to test this out. It's also fragrance-free with the added bonus of a little bit of niacinamide. It's SPF 50 plus like the other two, and it has a maximum PA rating of four. This also is very similar to the Perito Comfy Water. It has a, a thin gel-like, slash water-like formulation that absorbs instantly, but it does leave the skin tacky, like tacky enough that I need to wait for it to absorb completely. Like I, you have to give it a solid minute before you move on to say your concealer or your makeup. Let's have a few flower extracts as well as orange oil, which can be a source of irritation for some people that have sensitive skin, so keep that in mind. It's also a chemical slash organic sunscreen, which adds that extra layer of potentially causing irritation. So again, just keep that in mind. So this uh, relies on Uvenil A+, which has a very high UVA protection rating. So it protects UVA1 and UVA2. It's also very photostable. It also has Uvenil B, which protects you from UVB, but this one's a little more unstable and light. The other thing is that this also can be a source for an allergic reaction. So I don't necessarily know why this gained a lot of popularity because there's 
way more K-Beauty sunscreens that offer better formulation with less chances of irritation with great finishes. But you know, I'm gonna finish it. I have no problem with it, but I don't think it's something I would repurchase. Moving on from sunscreens, I picked up a couple of skincare pieces that I've been very much enjoying, as you can see. The first one I wanna mention, which is gonna be a repurchase, is the I'm From Rice Toner. This is essentially a dupe for the Tatcha Essence. I say it's a dupe because it relies on rice or fermented rice extract to offer hydration and brightening properties to the skin. Rice extract is actually the number one ingredient here. It's, this formula is 80% rice extract. So rice will help with brightening the skin, reducing hyperpigmentation, helping your skin retain water. It's just a really great ingredient. So I highly recommend this. I'm I'm gonna be repurchasing it uh, for sure. It's a great rest toner, especially if I'm not using like Polish Choice BHA toner, um, which I only use two to three times a week, sometimes only two times. This is what I will um, swap it for, just for an added layer of hydration and radiance. So I picked up two serums from Beauty of Josian. I hope I'm saying this right. Um, only one of them was really or felt special to me, and that's the calming serum with green tea and panthenol. Green tea is the first ingredient in here, which is fantastic, meaning it's potent. Uh, green tea is a great antioxidant that also is known to help with the appearance of pores. It's actually one of the only ingredients out there that will actually help with the size of pores. Maybe not the size, but the their appearance. It's also anti-inflammatory, anti-irritation. It's just a nice ingredient to have if your skin is going through something. Another great thing in here is the 2% panthenol. Panthenol is the precursor to vitamin B5, which if you follow me on Instagram, I love vitamin B5. Um, it's a healing ingredient. They even studied it in surgical patients in their scars and noticed that it sped up healing. The other great thing in here is the Centella Asiatica, which you're probably gonna be seeing more and more frequently. It's gonna be the new niacinamide in 2021. Uh, it's also known as Tiger Balm. So, you know, the, the story is that tigers would rub this on their wounds to help healing. So then overall, this is a very reparative, um, soothing healing formula so it's great if you're dealing with active breakouts um, if your skin seems impaired in any way if it seems inflamed or, or, or red this is something that I highly recommend it's also essential oil free and fragrance free so it adds that bonus of not being reactive to your skin. The other product that I got from them, which I've been enjoying but I may not repurchase, is their Repair Serum with Ginseng and Snail Mucin. This is called Repair, although I feel like the Calming Serum is more reparative to me based off the ingredients. So the Snail Mucin is something you'll probably see more frequently in K-Beauty products, but it's uh, protective in the sense that it reduces water loss and it improves skin elasticity. It also does have healing properties, so if you're dealing with inflammation, it will it will calm that down and calm down any redness. The ginseng portion is very rich in antioxidant minerals and vitamins, so that's just another way to keep your skin happy. But again, if you're out shopping looking for like a reparative serum that's going to heal your skin, I highly recommend the calming version with green tea and panthenol. The last thing that I got is uh, the Deep Sea Pure Water Cream from Purito, and I love this. It's so good. So I have dry skin, winter's coming. It seemed like a no-brainer to pick this up. It says that it has 60% deep seawater. I mean, I don't know what deep seawater does for the skin other than maybe being very rich in minerals. Most importantly, it has 2% niacinamide. Many of us may correlate higher percentages of active ingredients with better results. So we all want that 10% niacinamide. We all want that 10% lactic acid. Um, and the market knows this so that, you know, they, they give us what we want. But a lot of things actually work best at low concentration or they work just as well. And it reduces chances of irritation, namely niacinamide. Niacinamide is so popular now. We all want it in everything. You can, I'm pretty sure you can find it in everything now. But like, for example, the Ordinary 10% Niacinamide Serum is great, but a lot of people will complain of irritation or disrupted skin barrier. And it's because Niacinamide at 10% isn't working any better than Niacinamide at 5%, but it's increasing chances of irritation. Turning from that tangent, this has 2% Niacinamide. All the studies we have out there about Niacinamide uh, actually studied it at a 2 to 3% concentration. So when I saw this at 2%, I was so happy. I was like, wow, now we have the proper concentration that has shown benefits, like clinical studies, 
and there's less chances of irritation. So this needs all the love possible. As with most Purito products, it's essential oil free, it's fragrance free, it's a beautiful formulation. It feels so hydrating and lightweight. It absorbs like this, like you put it on and it's gone. Your skin just absorbs it like a sponge. The other great thing when you look at the ingredient list, it's rich in emollients, rich in humectants, and rich in occlusives. Any moisturizer needs those three components to hydrate your skin appropriately. So, I mean, like this, for 20 bucks, this is amazing. And that wraps up my Yes Style haul. I'm obsessed with this website right now. Like I just spent hours looking at stuff. Um, so my top three out of that whole haul are the I'm From Rice Toner, the Purito, um, pure water cream, and then the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock. If you do wanna shop Yes Style, I do have an affiliate link. I'll link it in the description bar. I think the code will give you 10% off a $49 purchase, and then that will give me kickback commission to support this channel. So if you wanna shop, I highly recommend clicking the link below, exploring these specifically because your skin will be very happy this winter. Thank you again for watching, supporting me, and hopefully I'll see you very soon.